My parents are here. How are you liking? Are you liking Jerichostra? Loving it. Awesome. It's the best. It's the best? We're having a great time. I thought Barat was the best. <laughs> well, everything, we keep topping things every place that we go. I expect the next place to be even better than this. Yeah. I mean, what a country. All right, so what I'm gonna have you guys do real quick just for Ben's introduction is um, introduce yourselves. So I'm Ashley and my husband Jay, and we just returned from a two week stay in Albania where we went from north to south with some stops in Toronto with Ben. And it was extraordinary and one of my favorite trips ever. What did you know slash think of Albania before visiting? My knowledge of Albania was really based on what I learned in my early education. The fact that Albanian was a communist country is really what I sort of remembered about Albania before we visited. So that's where I was coming from regarding my background knowledge of it. So I really didn't know what to expect as to what Albania is today in 2021. And I only knew it from Ben and Fee and that it just looked beautiful and fun. What were your expectations before visiting? What did you think the country would be like? We thought it would be beautiful. We thought the food would be wonderful, and we thought the people would be nice. I think we also expected that there was going to be some influence from Greece because it's a neighboring country, and we had been to Greece before. So we remember Greece as being very attractive, especially its beaches. But I think what we didn't expect is the tremendous mountains and, and the Alps and what they really mean to Albania. And then the beaches again, were extraordinary, I thought. Uh, the water was, was absolutely beautiful. I think that, you know, that's what, what it, it, at least I expected going into this. I'd like to hear more about um, when you went to Greece and how you would contrast those two different countries. Greece was total tourism. It was beautiful with history, but it was tourists, 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 tourists. We didn't get to know the people. We only got to know the tourists. Albania was based on Albania. We learned the culture. We talked to the people. We learned more about their life coming out of communism and appreciated everything they taught us. And we, I think, really learned about the culture. What surprised you the most about the country? For me, the mountains. I did not know there were mountains. There were mountains in the Alps. And then I thought we'd go to the coast and there wouldn't be mountains, but it was all mountains, 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 and beautiful mountains. I've never been to a country before that had such a beautiful scenic surrounding of, of the Alps and the mountains that Ashley just described, but that also has a coastline that is, is also beautiful. And also the other thing that I, I really appreciated there that I, I didn't really expect is history. I mean, the Albanians have been fighting for their independence during their whole history through the Ottoman Empire and then having to overcome a communism during the uh, Cold War. I mean, it's extraordinary what this, these people have uh, gone through, and I really appreciated that as I learned more about Albanian history. What was the favorite place that you visited? So everybody, while we were there, asked us our favorite place to visit. And we had problems because first we're like, oh, the Alps were great and theft and visiting the people and blue eye, and that was the best. But then we go to another place, no, that was the best. When we did wine tasting and learned about the history of Rocky, that was the best. And then we'd go someplace else and we'd be learning about the food and how they turned a prison into this farm to table. No, that was the best. And then we went to the shore and there were more people, but the mountains were there and the water was there and the seafood, that was the best. So we were asked while we were there, every time we returned to Tirana, what was your favorite? And every part of it was the best. Just getting to know the people and hearing the stories about what they have accomplished in their lives, especially the people that we spoke to that have started businesses there that have flourished, um, really enjoyed hearing about the stories of their families and, mm. and how they've uh, been able to overcome a lot of challenges to, 
become successful in Albania. We spent about a week in the north and the south. Which did you prefer, the north or the south? I love the mountains in the north and the seclusion and sitting down in a cozy environment and talking to people. And then in the south, the water and the beauty of it and the mountains and meeting people in little nooks and crannies. I can't choose. <laughs> what did you think about Albanian food? What was your favorite dish? Loved Albanian food. We ate a lot of goat in the north and so much fish in the south. Yeah, I thought that the food was, was extraordinary because I think that uh, everything was fresh. The fruits and vegetables, the figs, for instance, were, were delicious. The vegetables were, were really, really good. And then, as, as Ashley mentioned, uh, you know, we did have a, a lot of goat when we were in the north. And then it was really nice that we got a change when we went to the south mm -hmm. and we were able to enjoy really, really good seafood. So there was a, there was a lot to choose from. The freshness was what was so impre impressive about what I tasted when I was in Albania. And I think no matter where we went, whether it was in Toronto or in the north or the south, everybody was so proud of what they made right. and what they cooked and what they presented. And it was almost like an art. Uh, what do you think about Albania and coffee and rookie? I thought it was really fun when our second morning in theft, Jay and I got up early and didn't know the language and asked for coffee and he smiled and said something and we said sure and he brought us our coffee like a cappuccino with rocky, a side of rocky. I thought that was really fun. Um, coffee was good, definitely. I liked stopping for coffee but the rocky that's albanian culture the best thing about the rocky was the night we went and learned about the history of it and um how you don't just drink rocky rocky you have to have a toast it has a meaning so every sip has a meaning when you're having a sip of rocky you need to be thinking of someone or something that you're grateful to and toast and that was a fun night when we learned about that and we toasted and we toasted for hours. We toasted, it made Rocky beyond just a drink. It was special. And what similarities, if any, did uh, Albania have with countries that you have visited? We honeymooned in Switzerland and the mountains were similar. The people were nice, that was a long time ago. The landscape was similar to Greece in parts and Switzerland in parts. But I think the big difference was the people. We got to know the people in Albania more than in Switzerland and in Greece. Yeah, it's a very it's a very rocky terrain, especially in the north. And so um, it did remind me a little bit of climbing in the White Mountains in some respects. In because uh, New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, right. Because uh, some of the trails were, were, were really, I mean very similar to the trails that we mm -hmm. climbed in in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. How would you describe the Albanian people? The Albanian people are, lovely people, are proud of what they've overcome through communism, are proud of their culture, are very respectful to people visiting, are excited to show us their culture, and they just seemed very happy to expose us to Albania. And they were very happy that we loved Albania so much. What was your overall favorite memory from the trip? Mm -hmm. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real tough one. Personally, the hike in the Alps was great, but I think the night we did wine tasting and ended up the owner coming and explaining the history of Rocky and what happened during the communist period. That was a favorite. There's a lot of favorites. My favorite time was the time that we Marizzi. spent at the at Marizzi, which is a vineyard that was started by an, Al, an Albanian entrepreneur who uh, started a a business based on agriculture and his uh, his restaurant uh, serves only organic food that's delicious and he's expanded his operation beyond just a restaurant into uh, I almost call it an, a, a place of, of leisure for families because you can go there and um, 
have really good food and the accommodations are, are really, really good and splendid. And I enjoyed meeting him and his family and then meeting them once again mm -hmm. later on in the trip. I really enjoyed meeting him a lot. Uh, all right, what advice would you give to someone who is thinking of visiting Albania for the first time? Go. Go there. Overcome any type of maybe preconceived notions you have about Albania that you might have from, like I did, learning about their storied history, uh, you know, the way in which Albania is portrayed in some movies uh, is not at all the, what we experience. The, the people there are, are, are very kind and, and they're just, there's so much to do there. It's a, it's a country that's rich in culture. Hmm. Um, wow, I, the I agree. The cities themselves are beautiful and safe and fun. And right. It, it's a really great place. I mean, it's some place that I'm definitely going to recommend that uh, friends of ours go to if they want to get a rich, rich experience. It's a hidden gem. Yes. And yeah. everybody we've talked to is like, I didn't know that about Albania. And it's like, we didn't either. Last question, would you visit again? Yes, I would go tomorrow just to get some cheese, olives, and pigs. I'd go again for sure, because I, I, think, there's, I think there's even more that we haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. I think we've only scratched the surface of, yeah. of what Albania offers. I, I wouldn't think twice about going again. It's such a small country, but it has so much. 